Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and turn on notifications. Today's video is about Twitter hacks, Apple New Podcast, and Google New Translator. Let's get the video. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Elon Musk, Apple, and others hacked in unprecedented Twitter attack. The Twitter accounts of major companies and individuals have been compromised in one of the most widespread and confounding hacks the platform has ever seen. All in service of promoting a Bitcoin scam that appears to be earning its crash required a bit of money. We don't know how this happened or even to what extent the Twitter's own system may have been compromised. The hack appears to have subsided, but new scam services were posting to verified accounts on a regular basis starting shortly after 4 p.m. Eastern Time and lasting more than two hours. Dodo acknowledged the situation after more than an hour of silence, writing on its support account at 5.45 p.m. Eastern Time. We are aware of a security incident impacting accounts on Twitter. We are investigating and taking steps to fix it. We will update everyone shortly. The campaign also took the unprecedented measure of preventing verified accounts from tethering at all starting sometime around 6 p.m. Eastern Time. This will seem to be the first time Twitter has ever done this in the company's history. Twitter updated its system on limiting tweets at 7.18 pm Eastern Time. Writing, we are continuing to limit the ability to tweet, reset your password, and some other accounts functional while we look into this. Text order your passions at 8.41 pm Eastern Time. Twitter said, most verified accounts should be able to tweet. Adding, as we continue working on a fix, this functionality may come and go. The chaos began when Tesla serial mass Twitter account was seemingly compromised by a hacker intent on using it to run a Bitcoin scam. Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates account was also seemingly accessed by the same scammer, who posted a similar message with an identical Bitcoin wallet address. Both accounts continued to post new tweets promoting the scam almost as fast as they were delighted, and Musk account in particular was still be under the control of the hacker as late as 5.56 pm Eastern Time. A spokesperson for Gates tells the course that Schleifer, we can confirm that this tweet wasn't sent by Bill Gates. This appears to be the part of a larger issue that Twitter is facing. Twitter is away and working to restore the account. Shortly after the initial wave of tweets from Gates and Musk accounts, the accounts of Apple, Uber, former President Barack Obama, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden, hip hop Michael Kanye West, and former New York City mayor and billionaire Mike Bloomberg among others were also compromised and began promoting the scheme. It's unclear how widespread the operation is, but appears to have affected numerous major companies and extremely high profile individuals. This suggests someone or a group has either found a severe security loophole in Twitter's login or account recovery process or those of third party app, or that the private traitor has somehow gained access to a Twitter employee's admin privilege list. According to Motherboard, Numerous underground hacking circles have been sharing screenshots of an internal Twitter administration tool allegedly used to take over the high profile verified accounts. Twitter is now removing images of the screenshots from its platform and in some cases suspending users who continue to share it. The company hasn't shared any details as to how the hacks were carried out. Apple's largest on daily news was cast to compete with the daily and others. Apple is launching its own daily podcast. The company announced the show today along with other news about audio stories coming to Apple News and created local Apple News collections, as well as the release of iOS 13.6. The show called Apple News Today will be hosted by Apple News editor Shimon Tabasso and Dorothy Garaldino. New episode, which will be 7 to 8 minutes long, will be released Monday through Friday, and the show will exclusively be available through Apple News and Apple Podcasts in the US. Canada, the UK, and Australia. Additionally, Apple released to another stories at Victory Apple News Plus. Stories will be voiced by professional actors, and they will be narrated long from pieces published by big name outlets like Esquire, GQ, New York Magazine, and Vanity Fair. On Apple News Plus, subscribers will have access. Both these stories and Apple News Today are accessible through the audio tab at the bottom of the news app.
Couple I will also support this audio features. Many people can listen to them as a drive. Finally, in non-audio news, Apple says it's launching created local names in the Bay Area, Houston, Los Angeles, New York, and San Francisco. Each of these will feature a major newspaper in the area and will include coverage of local community news. A subscription to Apple News Plus in the US also now includes access to the Charlotte Observer, the Idaho Statesman, the Kansas Star, the Miami Herald, the News Observer, and the State. In Kendall, they are will be able to Apple News Plus subscribers as well as the Globe and Mail. The biggest news is Apple News today. This is Apple's first major foray into podcast production, and the daily news format is an especially crowded one. The New York Times releases a popular program, The Daily Ball Wax Media, releases today explained, and the Wall City Journal has the journal, among others. It's like that, Apple is making a show, Apple exclusive is even more noteworthy. Up until now, Apple has been the de facto face of podcasts in the open ecosystem, particularly compared to Spotify, which has focused on big name exclusive podcast deals to grow as platform. Apple, on the other hand, hasn't signed exclusive deals and instead promotes other producers working in its created list. This might be the start of Apple's audience jump into podcasting. Google launched Hieroglyphic Translator powered by artificial intelligence. Google has launched a hieroglyphic translator that uses machine learning to decode ancient Egyptian language. The feature has been added to its Oz and Culture app. It also allows users to translate their own words and emojis into shareable hieroglyphs. Google says Fabricius is the first such tool to be trained via machine learning to make sense of what a hieroglyph is. In theory, it should improve over time as more people use it. The software's workbench tool allows the users to upload photos of real hieroglyphs found on artifacts and digitally enhance the image to better analyze the symbols. Users can trace the outlines of hieroglyphics, which the software then tries to match up with similar symbols in its database, allowing them to search for different meanings and attempt to decipher findings. The tool works by analyzing historical records and definitions of the language. But Google hopes it can build up a more extensive database as people add to the system. Researchers can also annotate and recharge data sample in Workbench, which Google hopes will lead to new historical findings. The tool was created in collaboration with the Australian Center for Egyptology at Macquarie University Cycle Interactive, Ubisoft, and Egyptologists from around the world. Digitized and annotated text could potentially help us to construct broken text on the walls and even to discover text we didn't know were there. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new in this channel, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notification and hit the like button. Have a good day.